Hey everybody, my name is Matt Gardner. Welcome to The Signature Show, Signature's latest offering to stay connected to our audiences during these crazy times. We're gonna be sharing with you some past memories, amazing new performances, compelling interviews, and so much more. Over the past several years, Signature has had some amazing people in our building, and I got to sit down and chat with two of my favorites, Tom Kitt and Heidi Blinkenstaff, about their work on the world premiere signature musical, Disney's Freaky Friday. Hi, Heidi and Tom. Uh, thank you for chatting with me today about Freaky Friday, which had its world premiere at Signature almost four years ago. Tom, can you tell me a little bit about why you wanted to turn this into a musical? Mary Rogers um, wrote just a, a, a beautifully human and important work about how we need to see each other's lives and how we gain empathy for the people we love by just um, in, in this story, literally getting to walk a mile in their shoes. So it spoke to me early on in my own life and the chance to get to write songs for it, uh, I knew it was gonna be uh, an emotional experience and, and, and quite rewarding. Heidi, can you talk about what it's like to create a role by these luminaries like Tom Kidd and Brian Yorkie and Bridget Carpenter? It was dreamy to say the least, you know, every day I was like, oh my gosh, I get to be here creating a new role in a musical, which I, you know, I always dreamed of doing as a kid, but I get to do it with these people at Signature. And it was, um, you know, those were salad days, baby. You dream to be in the, in the room with people who inspire you, um, not just by the work that they are sending back your way, but as you're thinking about work yet written um, about the possibilities in front of you and, um, and, and having Heidi's instrument to do that for is just a real gift for a writer. Heidi, you, before you did Freaky Friday at Signature, you had also done First You Dream. Can you yeah. just talk a little bit about developing new musicals, even, even though uh, First You Dream is a review, but can you talk about developing a new musical at Signature? Both of the both of the experiences I've had at Signature, I ha I have worked with these, um, you know, titans, these artists. Um, I'm including you in that, Tom Kit. You know, just these people that I uh, never in my wildest dreams thought that I would be lucky enough to work with. But I do think that Signature. Um, the environment there is so collaborative. It is, it's such a wild gymnasium for actors to, to try things and to, you know, to try and fail and try again and succeed. And um, I, I feel so privileged to have made not one thing there, but two with such amazing artists who, you know, God, I, I, hope, I hope I work with them ASAP. What you hope for when you go and you develop something out of town, you hope that it's an environment that, that feels uh, inspiring and, and gives you support um, and um, allows you to do the work and, 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 and do so in a, in a comfortable um, and, um, uh, a freeing kind of environment where you just feel that you can try anything and you can both succeed and fail and it will be good for your peace. And, um, and I felt that uh, in, in huge ways, the signature, um, as, soon as, as soon as I arrived there, I, I felt like, like everyone was excited for us to be there and excited to see how we were going to um, debut this piece. Uh, Heidi, you've agreed to perform something for us on our show tonight, and that is uh, a song from Freaky Friday. Do you mind just giving our audiences a little setup for it? There, so much is going on. I just to set it up. I'm swapped, so I'm 16 year old Ellie in Catherine's body. Fletcher has been missing. Fletcher is the 10 year old 
son of Catherine, so my brother in this moment, it's a little mind bendy if you think about it too much. He's asleep on my lap and Ellie is, is having sort of an epiphany about, um, you know, her, how actually hard her mom's life really is. And, and she's having empathy for the whole experience of um, having walked in her mom's shoes, but she's also imparting advice to her sleeping brother. It's one of the most beautiful songs I have ever had the privilege to sing. It truly is one of my favorite moments live on stage in my career, for sure. Well, uh, thank you both for joining me. And uh, this is Heidi singing after all of this and everything from Freaky Friday, the musical. Listen to me, little sleeping monster. You there with the sugar-crusted face. I understand the urge to run away, kid, but stay Someday you'll be 16 and awkward And too old for the puppets, but still My name is Laura Mady and I am the company manager at Signature Theatre. One of the things that makes Signature so amazing is the incredible group of artists that keep coming back to work at the theatre. So each week on the Signature Show, we will feature a different artist who has become a member of our Signature family. These artists are a huge part of what makes Signature Signature. First up, we have Natasha Diaz, who has appeared in 10 productions with us, as well as countless cabarets. Coming from New York, I never expected to uh, develop a relationship with a theater um, in the way that I have with Signature. People who, who encouraged my growth as a, as a performer in ways that I had never experienced. The door just flew open at Signature. 
in ways I had never expected. The first time uh, I walked into Signature, um, I believe my date was Victor Shargai. And he said, come, let's, let's go and see. Merrily we roll along at Signature. It was such an incredible show. And the level of uh, prowess with Sondheim's material, immediately I, I just felt this sense of community. Last night I went to see the gypsy offered a role without an audition was something that I had never experienced, um, let alone uh, a lead role like Aurora in The Spider Woman. I literally thought that there was like, you know, I was on candid camera or something. <laughs> and, uh, but it ended up being uh, the most thrilling uh, debut, probably ever. Brother Usher was a very daring work. John Dempsey and Dana Rowe, they are such poets. And what they were looking for in this was this sense of humanity and sense of we will carry on no matter what. was my first uh, Brechtian experience. You were in service to the message of Three Penny, which was much bigger than your enjoyment as, a, as an actor. You're used to going on stage and, you know, making a big splash or making yourself known or like, you know, having big energy. And this was the exact opposite. It was almost like an absence. The more absent your fire is, the more you're doing with Brett. After being, uh, you know, doing Anita and being, you know, so virile and so fiery, and Fosca was so weak and so uh, frail of body, but powerful of, of heart, passion. It was the most transporting experience that I will probably ever have. Brother Russia, soon, Three Penny Opera, Crazy For You, Light Years, West Side Story, Jesus Christ Superstar, Passion, and Grand Hotel. There's so much to be grateful for, for the community, for this incredible array of experiences, which I hope is not over yet. <laughs> we have so much more to do, so much more to do, and I can't wait to get started. Hey everyone, I'm Nova Payton. Signature Theater has always been supportive of new writers. 
recent productions of Gun and Powder and Easy Women Smoking Loose Cigarettes show Signature's commitment to seeking out and nurturing new voices in the theater and giving them a home. One writer who made Signature a home was Darius Smith. Darius Smith music directed Signature's productions of Jelly's Last Jam, La Cage Au Fol, Soon, and Dream Girls. But more than a music director, Darius was also a very gifted composer. He was the recipient of Signature's 2015 Stephen Sondheim Young Artist Citation and his musical UGLY, which he co-wrote with Michael R. Jackson, was workshopped at Signature in 2016. In 2019, Darius unexpectedly passed away. He left a huge mark on Signature. In honor of Darius, every episode of The Signature Show going forward will highlight the work of a composer writing for the musical theater today. To begin, we'll be featuring a song by Darius from his musical UGLY and sung by Ines Nassara. Come on, please don't be that way I can run around this gym all day And barely break a sweat Now don't get me wrong Though I may not be as strong In the ring I can last longer than any boy I bet I'm agile, I'm smart And my reflexes are quick If you want cutting execution Mr. J, then I'm your pick I'll pin anything Even a wall it on a brick You'll see Hi there, my name is Ashley Richardson. I'm Signature Theater's Donor Services Manager. As part of the Signature Show, we'll be featuring some of our favorite artists creating small new pieces of art from home. 
DeWitt Fleming Jr. is an actor, singer, and dancer originally from Washington, D.C. He was featured in Signature's production of Jelly's Last Jam, The Scottsboro Boys, and he was also the assistant choreographer for A Miss Behaven. His wife, Jenny Harney, was starred on Broadway in The Color Purple and in Hamilton. Here they are together at home performing September in the Rain. You may also hear some special background vocals from their recent addition to their family, Baby Ella. Enjoy. Okay. A one, two, uh, uh, uh. Maggie Boland, Signature Theater's Managing Director. Signature was founded in 1989, and over the last three decades, we have produced contemporary musicals and plays, reinvented classic musicals, and developed countless new works. Musical theater has always been Signature's signature, and as part of the Signature show, we wanted to give you a trip down memory lane. Each episode will feature some of our favorite songs and performers from the last 30 years of Signature musicals. In 2007, Signature presented the American premiere of John Dempsey and Dana Rose, The Witches of Eastwick, starring Mark Kudish, Emily Skinner, Christiane Knoll, and Jacqueline Pirro Donovan. The three witches recently reunited to perform the closing number from Signature's hit musical. We hope this reminds you of some of the magical nights you've spent at Signature over the past 30 years. Enjoy.
Look at me. I'm where I started. Look at me. It's like I've just begun. Look at me. I'm back at chapter one. Yet there's a change that I can see. all for this week's episode of The Signature Show. I want to thank all the artists that were a part of it, and I want to thank you for watching. We'll be back again in two weeks with a new episode, with new performances, conversations, and so much more. Until then, stay safe and wear a mask. I'm crossing my fingers that we can be back together in a theater sooner rather than later. <laughs>